Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Amy and I post new videos every week. Today's video is going to be another declutter in my series. I will link the playlist here if you haven't seen it. This is the declutter that I did not want to ever get to. And I think I'm actually gonna have to split it up. So this is going to be my lip products. But this right here, what you're looking at, is only my juicy, creamy lip products. These are my lip glosses, lip shines, things like that, lip slicks. Whereas I have another one that looks almost as full as this one that has like matte lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. <laughs> So if I can get through both of them today, I will, uh, but I have a feeling I might only be able to get through one of these per video. So let's, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> um, because these are lipsticks and they're gonna roll around, I have them as an acrylic thing, but I'm going to work with them inside this. Hopefully you'll be able to see better with the wood background as well. Um, oh God. I really don't want to do this guys okay let me try to just put lip glosses in here and see what that looks like So now I've split them up. So this one is lip glosses, okay? And this one is lipsticks that are like juicy, creamy situations. I believe most of these are like that. If I find one that's matte, I'll deal with it then. But I think that's what I've got over here. So let's go into lip glosses first. There's more of them, but this is what I wear the most. So I don't know how much I'm gonna get rid of. <laughs> Anything I'm gonna keep, I'll put into this, and anything I'm gonna get rid of, I'll put into this. So, all right off the bat, I'm seeing the LA Girl glazed. This was atrocious. I don't know if you watched my full face of LA Girl, but this was like the worst product I tried in it, so we're getting rid of that. Oh, now everything else I wanna keep. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Um, the Essence lip glosses, these are some of the best lip glosses period not just at the drugstore but the best most juicy plumping you need to get the clear one regardless of how you feel about anything else in this video get this you will not regret this this one is beautiful i've only worn it a few times around the time that i wore that video um, i need to pull it back out because i don't really remember how i feel about it but i'm going to keep it for now but i might put this to the side to like try out put that down here um woo. tower 28 um this is the coconut lip gloss in what the milky lip gloss in coconut and it's like my favorite formula favorite color favorite lip gloss i absolutely love this we're keeping it this lottie london glossed lip gloss in the shade glow i've been really loving this as like a day treatment like if my laneige glowy lip balm isn't near me at the time i've been pulling this from my collection because i have it sitting like with my brushes just like boop because i can wear it like before i start filming or anything and i've been really enjoying this i think it looks really pretty and it feels very good on the lips it's very hydrating and nourishing um where sometimes lip products that aren't meant for like to be a lip balm don't do that so keeping this oh gosh okay the m cosmetics true gloss in mochi mochi i hate this one as well for actually similar reasons to why i dislike this the color is awful the formula is just very thick high pigment i did not like this at all if you want to see that that is in my 
M Cosmetics video. I think it's a full face of M Cosmetics where I tried out the So Soft blush. So if you want to check that out, but I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Um, man, this is, this is, this is really tough guys. Okay. Uh, these are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. This is Ice and Reef. These are beautiful, really plumping, juicy glosses. Um, I say affordable, but I mean the Essence one is way more affordable. I definitely recommend the Essence one, but I do think these are beautiful um, formulas in their own right, but these are probably like at least twice the price of the Essence one. So I do like these, gonna keep these. <sighs> this is so hard, hard. Okay. Um, this one i need to put this somewhere where that i can try it this is the kimchi chic gloss in peach shimmer and as you can see it has quite a bit of shimmer and i've only used it a couple times on the lips and i need to pull it out and try it like on its own on top of lip colors is it comfortable is it something um that i could see myself using um so i'm gonna put that down here as well to try that out more let's see what we got Oh, this Oma Beauty by Sharon C. This is the um, line that's available at Walmart. If you watched that video, that was my three-day foundation wear test of the Oma by Sharon C. Um, I also tried this out, and I really do love the color of this, guys. I really do, but I just can't get with the formula on it. I hope that they come out with something else in this color because I do think it's lovely and I don't know if you can see but I, I mean everything in my collection is a little bit punchier this is a little bit more muted of a color and I just want to see or have something of this color uh, but this formula is just I can't I can't get by it I can't wear it I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it um okay let's talk about this one this is the bite beauty um, French press lip gloss in vanilla latte and it's I mean the package 10 out of 10 the color is beautiful it is not my kind of color it is a little bit more tan than what I normally wear I don't know if you can tell but I normally wear like a pink kind of color um, but also this is extremely old and they use like natural products I'm pretty sure so this is probably expired so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that one Let's see, I kind of want to do... All right, I kind of wanted to talk about these all together. This is the Wet n Wild lip gloss. And as you can see, <laughs> I've used this on top of other colors so much that it's like other colors are settling at the bottom and that kind of grosses me out. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. It is a nice gloss, but it's just a gloss. There's nothing great about it. I would recommend the Essence one over it. Um, the e.l.f. gloss, the lip lacquer, is a little bit better, a little bit more of that jelly formula that I really like in the Tower 28 formula. Um, so I do love these. Mm, gosh, let's see. I'm going to keep all three of these e.l.f. ones. Yeah, because, yeah, because I am. Okay, I'm going to keep these. I can't get rid of them. I'm not ready. Okay, what about this one? The e.l.f. Mint Melt. This is probably the closest to that Oma Beauty color, but this one's like a more red version and this one's a more mauve version, but they're in that same like really muted tone family. This, again, this tan warmer color is not really my color. I do like this. I think it's a lovely color, but it is not something I'm going to reach for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. talk about the Revlon ones this formula is a really beautiful formula one of you guys actually uh, recommended I try these out and I really do like this formula I like the giant doe foot I like the packaging it's not it's very simple and clean and makes it just look really nice in my opinion I don't know there's something about like the specific size and shape of these that's really like attractive to <laughs> 
to me. Um, and these two are obviously like the ones that I use the most, this like neutral pink color and this clear color. Um, so I'm gonna keep these for sure. This one I lost at some point and couldn't find it. So I didn't try it as much as I, like I was wearing these ones like every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down here with these to try a little bit more. I'm sorry, you can't even see these. Try a little bit more um, and really get my feelings on before I decide to keep or get rid of. <sighs> Let's see. I believe <sighs> Prima Donna, Belladonna, and Peach Perversion. Okay, yeah. These are my Pat McGrath lip glosses. I have Peach Perversion, Prima Donna, and Belladonna. Prima Donna, the most pink one, is like my everyday kind of shade. This one has a little bit, okay. This one is like a cream. There's not really much sparkle in it. This one is like a sparkle kind of color. I don't know if it's coming across. And this one is kind of a mix. It's got that cream with that sparkle in it. And this is again, Belladonna. I love these. I love the formula of these. Khaki just wore faux real in a video recently and I want to get that so bad, but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try not to because I am gonna keep all three of these. They're pretty new to my collection actually and I do love them. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's talk about these. These are the ColourPop X Raw Beauty Christy Luxe Glosses. These are the only ColourPop lip glosses that I have and I really liked the formula. I didn't see anything like wrong with it. I love this color because it makes your lips look so juicy. Put this over top of anything. That's kind of what I use this one for from e.l.f., but the e.l.f. one is a lot more like silvery. This one's a lot more gold, um, so they could work for different lip colors. And then obviously this is like my favorite kind of color. It's like a nudie pink color. And I, I'm gonna keep both of these. I'm so sorry guys, but I am. I am. Get over it, okay? Okay? All right. I don't know where the red one of this is, if I already got rid of it. <laughs> but this is the Kosas Lip Oil, and this one is the shade Dip. There was totally a red one, but I don't see it anymore. I don't know where it is. Maybe I got rid of it as soon as I was done filming the video where I tried it because I knew I wasn't gonna like it. Um, but I have found that I also don't really love this color. It's just, I don't know. Maybe they're, it's too warm for me. You know, it's more like a bricky red kind of color. It's not red, but you know what I mean? Like a bricky tan kind of color. Um, and I don't, I do like this formula. I love the jellyfish one. I'm almost done with it. Um, but I don't, I don't like this one. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Juvia's Place, this red lip gloss. Listen guys, it is a look and I think it is beautiful, okay? It is beautiful. There is a time and a place for a lacquer red lip. Do you see this? Look at that, okay? It's gorgeous, but am I ever going to wear that? No, I'm not. I'm gonna get rid of it. Love you. You're beautiful. I do think that you have a spot in someone else's collection. Maybe if you were like a professional like wedding singer, could you just imagine that? Ugh, that would be beautiful. Or a Betty Boop impersonator of some sort. Like something about this is like beautiful and classic to me, but I'm not gonna use it, so. Ah. All right, let's turn, let's see. We've got a bunch of those. Let's go ahead and talk about the Dose of Colors lip glosses. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see. I've used quite a bit of both of these. Um, these are both a great colors for my everyday. We have just my type and dolly. I love this formula. However, I don't know if you can tell, it leaks if I leave it laying on its side. It has to lay upwards. I don't like having to think about that. <laughs> like, if I am wearing a gloss, I'm probably gonna wanna throw it in my purse, but if it's gonna leak, that's just not great. And I think it's just the formula. Like, look at how, how messy that is. It's a nice 
for it's so beautiful guys it's such a beautiful formula it's just so messy that i really I, i'm gonna get rid of them i can't keep this in my collection okay so my other very similar uh what i consider pretty much a dupe formula is the liquid catsuit high shine lipstick let me get the shade dolly here too because this one was like my favorite this like bubblegum pink okay and then this is this shade chic got real now this let me pull that back out Okay, I think here is where the e.l.f. actually has better packaging because you can see it's a similar formula where it gets all over right here. You see that? But e.l.f., e.l.f., no, Wet n Wild put this extra chunk here so there was a stopping point. So as you can see, it only gets on the rim around the spinny part and then it stops it. This doesn't have that, so it gets out of the packaging. I don't know if you're seeing that, but maybe a minor detail but super super important when it comes down to it so this is a little bit more pigmented i would say but it's kind of a perfect color between these two colors i love love this one this one in sand nudes is just i don't know why i just started swatching these maybe because i'm into more colorful ones but this one's just a little bit tan for me I'm never going to use something that tan. Um, it'll look too warm on me. So I'm going to keep the shade Chic Got Real and get rid of Sand Nudes. Okay, I've got this Ulta Beauty Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss. It looks beautiful. It's a little tester size. I've never tried it, but I, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I don't want to even try it and fall in love with it. I don't need it. Uh, okay, so now we got the Charlotte Tilbury Mini in Rose Jewel. This is such an interesting color. It's like this deep mauve, but it has a lot of gold glitter in it. And I know that I tried it. I believe I've tried it. I just don't really remember. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of color to it, but it has a lot of that gold reflect. And I don't know if you can tell from everything else here, not a big fan of a gold that's that gold like this is probably the most gold and this is like a peachy kind of color whereas this i don't know if you can tell it's like a a gold gold like a yellow orange brassy gold uh i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it okay okay oh my gosh we're getting to the end here guys okay we have the rare beauty gloss in nearly mauve i do really enjoy this i think this is a really good every day first of all it's my kind of color it's just a nice formula i feel like it let me put it on my lip a little bit it's kind of a mix between like a gel formula and an oil formula where it has a little bit of that gel consistency that gives it the really beautiful look to your lips but it's a little bit on the oily side which means that it's thin and it instead of because of the gel consistency to it this is so hard to uh communicate because of the gel part of the consistency it doesn't allow the oiliness to soak into your lips so you end up with this kind of in-between thing that kind of moves around your lips maybe too much um but i like the color and the feel of it and the look of it enough to where i'm going to keep it it's not one of my favorite formulas now thinking of it compared to all of these things but i do like it so i'm going to go ahead and keep it and then i have this shade nearly neutral and a mini and as you can see this is more of a brown tone i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the mini because i'm not gonna end up using that up okay minted this lip gloss is in pink about me this is a great everyday lip gloss especially if you don't like anything that looks too wet and juicy it's a little bit more of a subtle gloss with a pale or a sheer amount 
of color to it. You see how like this one right here is like super reflective. Like most of what I've got on my hand is super reflective. This one's got like a nice, like moisturized look to it, but it's not too much. So if I'm going all out on my eyes and I have a million different shimmers on my eyes, I like to go in something with more like this or like a matte, but something that's not as glossy. So I do like having this around, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, we are down to our final two brands. We've got the Fenty Gloss Bombs and Gloss Bomb Creams, and then all of these Buxom lip glosses. Now, before I started my channel, the Buxom formula was my favorite formula. I do still really like this formula because it's plumping, but it doesn't hurt my lips. It's just that nice minty tingly feeling, which I enjoy personally, but I do not need all of these colors. So let's, let's shrink it down some. All right, so this one is so close to being done. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a finished. What color is it? Hot Toddy, Hot Toddy. I did like this color, it's a good color, but it's so close to being done. I don't need to keep it in my collection because I know I'm not gonna finish it up right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. This one, the Celeste, Celeste, yeah, Celeste. I love this color. This is like a peachy base with like a silvery sparkle to it. Love this, keeping this. Okay, okay, all right, this one, my tie. I bought this at TJ Maxx because I was like, oh, this will be a fun color, but I don't know who I was kidding. I'm not gonna wear this color. It really is like this bright peachy color. I'm not gonna wear that color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Okay, that was easy, that was easy. Let's go, let's look at these. What do we got here? Um, We've got three colors. And we got two that are shimmers. We've got Alyssa and Abigail. Oh God, oh God. I want them both guys. So Alyssa is like a milky color. I've gone through like half of this. Yeah, like half of it. So Alyssa is like a milky color with like an iridescent pink flip to it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but it's really great to go on top of like a pink color. It's, I don't know, hold on. I don't know if you'll see it, but it has tiny pink glitters in it. And then this one, Abigail, is like a peachy tone that's like yellow gold. Yellow, what? Gold and pink? <laughs> like, what am I even talking about? So there's that one. I don't know if you can tell the difference. They're both beautiful, I'm keeping them both. <laughs> yeah. All right, now these three, what do we've got? We've got Dolly, Pink Champagne, and Blushing Marguerite. Let's go ahead and do Dolly right here. Look at that color. Obviously, it's one of my favorite kind of colors. It's right there next to some of my favorite colors. Pink champagne. It's like a baby pink kind of color. Ooh, the sticking to my hairs on my arm is very uncomfortable. Oh gosh. Okay, and then blushing margarita. Mm. Oh man. These colors are so similar and yet so different, guys. Oh God, oh God. Oh man. I wanna keep them. I'm keeping them all. I don't wanna hear it. I'm keeping them all. Thank you so much for your input. Keeping them all. All right, let's talk about the Fenty Gloss Bombs, okay? All right, so I've got the original gloss bomb in the shade Fussy, okay? This is a beautiful uh, mauve toned one with shimmer. It's a little bit more pink than the original color. The universal color is a little bit more rosy. And then I have all five of the gloss bomb creams. Um, the, my favorite ones are Mauve Wives, which is this one right here. 
It's got that nice purpley undertone that I love. And then this one, which is called Fenty Glow. This is meant to be like the color representation of the original. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I don't like the Fenty Gloss Balm formula. I do like these, these three colors specifically, I like, but something that's in this formula like irritates my throat and I don't like putting it on. It's a little bit gloopy. I think you can see that it like stays. Okay, so let's see if I can get you here. These formulas here, they're nice and thin on the lips, but they still give that juicy pop reflectiveness. These are very thick on the skin. I don't know if you can tell from here. They're very thick on the skin and they stay that way. And I don't really love that feeling on my lips. So I'm actually going to get rid of all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. I thought about keeping just fussy or just mauve wives but i'm just i don't like them even though i like the colors i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them i feel like i've done a really good job here guys i think you can see them all so i'm keeping all of these lip glosses and i'm getting rid of all of these I'm getting rid of 22 and I'm keeping 27. Yes, that is way, way too many. Um, but that's just how the cookie crumbled, okay? I, hey, I got rid of almost half my glosses. I think that is a great thing. We're gonna stay positive here. <laughs> okay, let's think about the positives here. Um, so, um, goodbye glosses. very similar setup here i'm gonna have my getting rid of pile here this is the pile of everything and this is kind of where we're gonna work from and move things over to i think i did it the other way around but it's fine <sighs> okay so this is actually probably my favorite kind of lip formula and it is a lipstick but like a creamy juicy lipstick you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Everybody's been coming out with them. I love them so much. Oh, there is the Kosas Lip Oil, the red one that I missed. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. So that's 23 lip glosses I'm getting rid of. Let me just grab, uh, grab out my favorites, okay? Favorites, Huda Beauties. Uh, I don't know what the formula is called. Cream Lipstick in Angel. Stop this. This, I compare all things to this. This is beautiful, perfect, beautiful packaging. Love that. Keeping that. Um, yes, Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine Ultra Brilliant in Nude Venus. So sorry about the little hairs around here. Having a cat means hairs everywhere. This one, it's a little bit more sheer. Very similar. This one's a little bit more neutral. That one's a little more pink. Love this formula. Keeping that one. Um, mm, okay. The Milani Nude Cream 26 Color Statement Lipstick. Love this one. It's a little bit more pink, a little bit more uh, pale. Well, I guess it's kind of peachy. Um, this one's a little bit more like of a lipstick feel, whereas these two are a little bit more balmy, but still a hydrating feel. So yeah, love that one. Keeping that one, let's see. Okay, this Ulta lipstick in the shade, barely there. Ugh, love this one. A little bit more of a neutral color. This is a like a great nude if I just want it to look nudey and not look super pink for my lips. Love this. I think this one might be, 
a matte, is it not? Okay, here we go. This is, ooh, what are you? Sorry, L'Oreal color exclusive. This was supposed to be uh, JLo's nude color. <laughs> I don't know if you remember when they did that, where like Jennifer Aniston, uh, JLo, what is her name? Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> Ava Longoria, a few other like famous people had perfect nudes. So this is JLo's perfect nude. It's the shade 370. And it's just look how sheer that is. They kind of uh, promoted these as like everybody's perfect color. So I think that's why they are more sheer formula. Um, but obviously it fits along the lines of some of my favorites here. So we're keeping that. I have a type. We have established that. Let's see. Okay. Along with that, the NYX Filler Instinct um, lip balm. This is beach casual. Look at this color. Stop. You can already tell it's more on this nudie side. Ugh. And all of these formulas are scrumptious. Okay. This one's a little bit more warm than what I've shown you here before. So obviously we're keeping that. Ooh. Okay. This is the Alma Beauty Black Magic Lip in peaches and akeem the this formula is so stunning guys it's a little bit expensive but it's so stunning and this one is a little bit more of a mauvey tone a little bit more muted and like grown up feeling Ugh, it's so good keep 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 okay what else do we got what else do we got i'm trying to like do like similar colors some of these are like these are browns these are bright colors. Um, I haven't actually used this very much, but I feel like it's going to be similar to here. This is, sorry, I've got lipstick on my hand. The Dewy Lip Balm from Rare Beauty in the shade Thankful. And you know what? Actually, it might be a little bit deep. A little bit deeper. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that one has a bit more pigment, and it is a little bit more deep this one's gonna be great for fall okay i haven't worn it actually since last fall so keeping that around um let's go ahead and look at these two other of the pat mcgraths i have electric lotus this is like a poppy pink orange color i'm gonna go down a little bit so you have room for more nudes this is a gorgeous bright color you can Get it to kind of blend out and be just a little bit more of like a summer just ate a popsicle kind of look i really do love this it it i got it on accident <laughs> and so i technically got it for free and i'm not ready to get rid of it yet obviously it's not something i'm gonna wear every day but i do enjoy it and i'm not ready to get rid of it so i'm gonna keep it and then I also picked up the VR Pink Astral one, which is one of the shimmery ones. Look at this, you guys are not. It's so pretty. It's a soft pink color, and it has a ridiculous, I don't know if you can tell, but it has tiny, tiny, tiny little like periwinkle blue and hot pink. It looks pretty much like this packaging just for the lips it's so beautiful and i love i love the formula the glitter one though i will say that you can feel the glitter in this i think because the lip formula is so thin that it doesn't hide the texture of the glitter as well as some other ones do you know what this is the fenty beauty lip slip shine i think is what it's called this is a shade sugar kiss i always opt for something that is a little bit more pink but you guys this is pink this is a cool toned pink i haven't gosh i think i tried it for a video a full face of fenty and i don't think i've tried it on my lips since so i'm gonna put this in the the pile of hey amy you need to try this and see if you actually really like it because i do like a cooler tone you know like this but this is like hot pink purple magenta moment like this is a lot so i need to see what that's like like on the lips like you can even see this one that's a super fun color has a more neutral grounding to it so yeah okay 
<sighs> let's do let's do these ones the elf sheer slick i've got grapefruit which might fall on one side of this yeah okay it's a more pink version this is like a perfect neutral pink this one is oh cherry slush it's a little bit more of a berry undertone but still kind of a red and then oops and then i've got pear golden pear which is a tan shade but see it's a little bit warmer than these other ones i'm gonna go ahead oh god i think i'm gonna get rid of golden pear and grapefruit and just keep this one yeah is that what you want to do, Amy? Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to get rid of those two. I haven't gotten rid of anything yet. Let's go ahead. All right, let's look at these two. I actually think this is a mat, so I'm going to throw that in the mats. This is the 3CE Style Nada Plumping Lips in the shade Coral. So this one is oranger, more orange. So sorry about that. Okay, but it's like a tangerine orange. And this is like a brick. Do you see the difference here? And I don't have a lot in my collection that gives me this, but I do have that blush from Salt New York that has that more orangey tone. So I feel like I need something to go with that. So I'm gonna keep this one, if that makes sense. All right, let's do these two L'Oreal Color Riche Shine. This one is in Glossy Fawn. This was, a recommendation of Ally Glines, okay? It's a really lovely nude, okay? You can see it goes with all my other lovely nudes. It's got a little bit of a, it's not as warm as this one. It's more towards maybe like this, which is the Ulta one, the Ulta lipstick. And then I have this watermelon shade, which goes along the lines of these. Very nice. And it is a different tone than the rest of these. It has a little bit more of a grounding to it. So it's like, these are like bright, fun colors. You, you, they might look out of place on your lips without a lip liner. This one looks a little bit more at home without anything like that. So I'm gonna keep that one. Oh gosh, okay. I have not gotten rid of very much here. <laughs> How about this? Okay, this is the Anastasia. Beverly Hills Coconut Matte Lipstick. This is a matte. Okay, I'm gonna put this with the mattes, so sorry. Ah, butter Gloss and Angel Food Cake. This should have been in my glosses probably, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I think this one is legit from back when they were like popping on YouTube. Like this is probably expired, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Oh gosh. Okay, we have the M Cosmetics, what do they call this? Lip Cushion in Venetian Rose. I do like this color. It is a little bit deep for me, or a little bit pigmented for me in the summertime. But as you can see, it fits really well with the rest of my lip colors and, and I just really like it. <laughs> the formula of this is beautiful. Keeping. Okay, I love the formula on these lipsticks. It's just like these, the very creamy, juicy, lovely. These are from Pop Proper Beauty. This is Finesse, Closer, and Her Magic. And I have a lot of fun with these, especially in the fall because they are a bit more deep. Let me go ahead and go here. So this one is a good nude for me. It's a little bit more pigmented than some of these other ones. So in the fall, this is a great like soft brown nude without being too much on that orange spectrum it's really lovely this one is called closer it is look at this color guys Ugh, it is so stunning i love this in the fall i love wearing this tone in the fall oh my gosh it's so gorgeous it's like this chocolatey brown that's not warm it's like quite neutral and then i have this one and look at this one her magic 
is magic. It's like a wine colored brown. Ugh, and it's so stunning. These in the fall, you, you can't get me away from them. Okay, now I've got all of these Revlon, Revlon ones. I actually purchased all of these, or most of these together in one set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, all of these together in one set. There was like a box set of them. And I was like, ooh, I might do like a lip swatch video, but like no one needs to see a lip swatch video of these, right? Let me know down below if you would like to see that. And I definitely don't need every single color of these. Um, I don't think this is every single color that they sell, but this is nine of the shades, which is quite a bit. Okay, these are the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks, okay? I'm gonna put them in like color order the best I can first. Okay, I've got them in order by number. So we have like the nude one, the pinks, these like uh, berry colors, wine colors, and then bright colors. Okay, this one is called number 44, Bear Affair. And they do have different finishes. So this one is a cream. And this one has been used. As you can see here, this is my kind of shade. Keeping that, 44, Bear Affair. Four fifty. This is a pearl formula. This is in the shade Gentlemen Prefer Pink. I don't think I've even swatched that one. Um, that's a lovely pink color. I'm going to put this under Try This One Out. I haven't seen this one on my lips yet, so I don't know. This is 463 Sassy Mob. Again, I don't know if I've put this on my lips. Ooh, this is a cream formula. I'm gonna put that in the try on my lips colors. Okay, we've got 447. This is a cream in black cherry. Oh my goodness. That lipstick is stunning. Ooh, okay. It's beautiful but it's probably not, not something I'm ever gonna wear, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This is a cream formula, 525, wine with everything. It looks like I've worn this one. I probably uh, used this in my red lipsticks video last winter, and actually I kind of like that. That's kind of a nice red, don't you think? Oh God. I might have to go back and watch that video and see my feelings. <laughs> before I decide if I wanna get rid of it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it until I decide. Uh, this is a cream formula, 535 Rum Raisin. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I think that one's just like a little bit warm. I do like the color. It's not something that I will probably ever wear. Okay, we've got this pearl one in 657 Fuchsia Fusion. This one is intense. It's got like a blue flip to it. That's super cool, but it's super like 80s vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one. This one is a cream formula, 725. Love that red. This one's a more pink red. Oh God, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, I've decided I'm actually gonna get rid of both of those reds. Hold on. Wine with everything. And love that red, both of these. I'm gonna get rid of them. Last minute decision, I'm getting rid of both. And then Kiss Me Coral 750, and this one is a cream, and this one is more orange. Look at that, that's a lovely orange, actually. I wanna try that on my lips. I'm gonna put that on to uh, try on. So those are all of the Revlon Super Lustrous ones that I have. And I've only got four of them here. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's look at my final results here. Okay, from this, I'm keeping 23. And I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm getting rid of eight. Oh, 
Okay, so this is what we are left with out of what we did. And these ones are all the ones that I'm keeping. And these ones I've got to try on my lips and decide if I'm keeping. All right, that is everything I have for this video. My juicy hydrating lipsticks and lip glosses and lipsticks and lip balms and whatever the heck they call themselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!